We bounced off it yesterday. If we break 378, you're going to see 375. 375 is like an interim point. If we break 375, we're going to 371. Let me pull up the spy chart and talk about worst case scenario. Worst case scenarios, let me go to the two hour chart and we can go back to where we closed on Friday and where we opened up on Monday two and a half weeks ago. We closed at 358. We opened up on the spy. Jeez, I hope you guys are looking with me. Ah, uh, you are. Thank goodness. Um, we opened up that Monday at 364.50. So there's a gap at 358, 359. We haven't filled it yet. Understand all these other gaps back here always get filled. Gaps get filled. If there's one thing you learn about investing, it's gaps always get filled. All right. We gap down here. We filled it up right there. So understand gaps get filled. So worst case scenario, given the SPY, given CPI tomorrow, that we fill the gap on the way down, not happening on Thursday, like immediately. Like, oh, shit, let's sell off. Up oh, there it is, 378. We filled. But again, my contracts, I bought out till Monday. So we have an announcement Thursday. Then you have Friday's activity. Then you have Monday's activity. Again, institutions probably bought out till December. They buy themselves more than enough time, especially when they're doing a hedge. But going down, okay, 378, which is acting as support, could turn into resistance. 375, next leg down. Meaning, if you're like, okay, it's at 376, it's going to touch 375. And if it breaks 375, 